break even and target operating income problem too. Fruit Sushi Corporation sells delicious fruit sushi at a wholesale price of $5 per unit. The variable cost to manufacture is $2 per unit. The monthly fixed costs are $7,500. Its current sales are 30,000 units per month. If the company wants to increase its operating income by 30%, how many additional units must it sell? This is a great question. There's a lot going on here. It can get confusing. Don't worry, we'll take everything in stride. We'll go really slow. This is a target profit increase in operating income question, specifically focusing on if the company will, is to increase its operating income by 30%, so increase by a percentage, how many additional units? How many additional units must it sell? Now, there's gonna be a few formulas. The first formula that we're gonna look at is the number of units to break even, BE for break even, or get a target profit. And profit is denoted by pi. And that formula is gonna be fixed costs, fixed costs, plus the target profit, which here, the target profit that we're looking for is 30% of operating income. And that's gonna be divided by the contribution margin per unit, per unit. Now, if, the, if you're looking for a break-even question, the target profit will be equal to zero, but we're not doing break-even here. We're doing an increase in operating income by 30%. Now, to get the target profit, which is increase, so 30% or 1.30 times operating income, because the way to think of it is operating income needs to go up by 30%, we're gonna to have to calculate that separately. And then we can plug in these items because we are given some information. We're given the sale price of $5. We're given the variable cost $2. Given the monthly fixed cost $7,500. We're given the number of um, sales at 30,000. And then we're looking at the number of units required to get 30% of, of uh, the operating income, a target profit of that amount. Let's start by doing 1.30 of the operating income to get our target profit of, again, th increase of 30% in operating income. Let's start there. The current operating income, let's go ahead and calculate that. We have all the information we need, so let's go ahead and do that first. Current operating income, we're gonna take the, it's gonna be our sales minus our variable cost, and that's gonna give us our contribution margin. We're gonna do it in total. We need to do a total amount minus our fixed costs and that gives us operating income, which by the way, looks like net income as well. But remember, you have to also consider the administrative costs out there beyond the production costs and getting your net income. So operating income here for purposes of this question is similar to net income, but there are still other costs like selling and general administrative costs out there that the company has. So let's start by doing the sales. So the sales, we're gonna take the 30,000 units sold and we're gonna multiply that by the sales price of $5 per unit. So we start there, 30,000 units, just put a U for unit, times $5, that's gonna give us a sales amount of $150,000. So we're doing this in total because we're looking for total operating income. Minus variable costs, again, same 30,000 units. So 30,000 units times variable costs of $2 per unit. And that equals $60,000, so we subtract away $60,000, we get a contribution margin of $90,000, again, doing in total. We subtract away our fixed costs. We're told our fixed costs are $7,500. So we subtract away fixed costs of $7,500. We're gonna get operating income equal to $82,500. Okay, now we can plug in the operating income of $82,500. We can multiply 1.3. And you're asking, why are we multiplying 1.3? Well, if we're at 100% normal, What's going on here? That's 100%, that's 1.00. If we're increasing by 30%, add 0.3 of that, so you get 1.3. So 1.3 times 82,500, that's gonna equal 107,250. So that is what we're gonna put in this target, target profit here. So here, in this amount, we're gonna put 107,250. Our fixed costs are gonna be $7,500. $7,500, and then we're gonna divide that by the contribution margin per unit. Well, this will be easy. The contribution margin per unit is the sales price per unit minus variable cost, and we have those numbers. 
Sales price minus variable cost. Sales price is $5, variable cost $2. So $5 per unit minus $2, the contribution margin per unit is $3. So we set up this formula again, it's gonna be 107,250 plus 7,500, that's gonna equal $114,750. Divide that by the $3 contribution margin per unit so divide that by $3 contribution margin per unit, and that gives us 38,250 units. And we have just calculated the number of units in order to increase operating income by 30%. Now remember, this question is asking for the additional units it must sell beyond the current sales of 30,000 units. So the 38,250 that we calculated, yes, that is going towards the answer, but the real answer here is we're going to subtract away the 30,000 units that we're currently selling, the 38,250. That is if the company wants to increase its operating income by 30%. So the correct answer for this problem is 8,250 units. That's the amount we need to sell beyond the 30,000. So 8,250 is the answer.